hata 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 we dem aga do ya no no link and the attack no hata hata bring a old chain set up no link hata 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 Bless up, bless up, bless up my viewers and subscribers. Big up in a cell, man. I don't know, so they're attacking past there in a new link from New Link Production. I just want to say good morning to each and every one. So, viewers and subscribers, see in life, many people, we just don't know what tomorrow may bring. Yeah, man. We'll be here today. And we just don't know what will happen tomorrow. So for every day, they get up on earth, give the Almighty thanks and praises, especially in times like now, people. Because a lot of people been losing track and forgetting that there is this COVID thing going on the same way. And people, the COVID thing still a go on. And it's still a kill. And it's still a rack up the place. And it's still a shook up the place. No joke about it. Now my viewers and subscribers. I am here. And I'm going to cover a story. You understand? Over in Belize. Which is our Caribbean friends. Our Caribbean family. You understand? Which is also considered a part of Central America. You get me as a people. Well. Viewers and subscribers, it is really a sad one I'm going to talk about now. And when I saw this article, people, with this thing, I definitely couldn't just see this thing and just pass by and not talk about it after watching it, people, the video, seeing the pictures, seeing the comments and everything about this just make the attacking bastards feel like we are said, channel. Well, people. It's about the passing of two doctors who are brothers and who are also twins over in Belize over the weekend between Friday and Saturday. Gone. You understand? Now, today's what? December the 15th. Well, viewers and subscribers, I'm going to tell you that it is really sad. You know? This is where these doctors do contracted symptoms of the COVID people because you know them are doctor and them deaf on the front line and thing. You get me I say? And these doctors ages 33 years old because I tell you they are twin people. And the doctor people manage where one of the brother passed away from symptoms of the COVID. They were healthy man before. You know what I mean? No man will know enough the sickness. There are doctors who are on the front line working during the pandemic and everything. Trying to, you know, ease the pressure in Belize. Because Belize people, as our Caribbean friends, our Caribbean brother, our Caribbean sister, they are going through a lot which even death toll in Belize. In a one week, they might have over 70 cases where people died from COVID and things. A lot of cases coming on in Belize, people. So they are really facing some tough challenges even though you have every country in the Caribbean been affected by this thing, people, but Belize is definitely going through some hard and harsh times. And to know the amount of people, the population that they got over there, people, they are really hitting some hard times over there. So let we just all keep our brothers and sisters over in Belize in our prayers. But people, as I'm saying, these doctors, people, first, one of them pass away, you understand, pertaining to symptoms from COVID, people. The other brother, he was also feeling symptoms and little sickness, people. Shortly after, he get really sick, bad, where he all need blood and thing, people. You get me, I say? They do find a donor to give him blood, people. And a couple hours after that and thing, sadly, the other brother passed away also. You get me? So two brothers drop out. They are twins, you understand? Over in Belize. And it... It's really sad, my viewers and subscribers, as I'm telling you, you know, to know that two doctors who are on the front line, twin brothers, just passed away hours apart. See? This is, this make everyone over in Belize mourning the loss of these men, people. Because 
These were two brothers who have a bond together. These were two brothers who have bigger dreams than just being a regular doctor. You understand? Have dreams of being a doctor, but being at a higher range being a doctor. These were two brothers who growing up, they saw when they're smaller, when they're younger people. Soccer playing, soccer, love to play soccer. You understand? The father of these two young men said, people, these brothers was like something connection with them. If one, you know, feel sick, shortly after the other one feel sick. If one get a cut over the eye, the right eye, the next one shortly after get a cut over him, the left eye. To how these brothers got this band together. They were just two loving brother people, Zane. And to tell her that both of them just drop out like that. Well, you don't know, Belize is not Jamaica people, you understand? So Belize is a thing where don't keep their dead very long, especially when it come on to COVID and them things. So these brothers were laid to rest already, people, over there in Belize. And they laid them to rest side by side. And as I can go through and see pics while, you know, on the other side of the video and thing, yeah. But what I'm saying, people, what is life? Hmm? Nobody just don't know what tomorrow may bring, you know. These were two healthy doctors on the front line trying to help people fighting this terrible thing out there. You see me? And when I say this thing, I just want people to understand. Listen, this COVID thing is really serious. It is really dangerous and it's still going on. Don't feel like because we almost reach a year, basically a year, because the first case of COVID, you know what I mean, this come out forward um in December, gone, you know. So we are basically a year since this thing come out, people. Don't feel like this thing dead out or this thing, not because you're here, so a lot of places rolling out, vaccine and thing. Death toll is still going up, you know. More people still keep on getting ill. It's still going on, people. So you see when them are telling us, yo, social distance, we're in a mass, you know, do the right protocols. Please still follow them rules there. When them are telling us, yo, now gather up and party, just do it, them as the people. See, I'm talking about everybody now. We're not talking about bellies right now, you know, because you see, two doctors who are on the front line working people. And these doctors are doctors who are protecting themselves, you know, put on their masks and these people. And you see what happened? Because there are two brothers who have this band together. They love each other. It's not two roughneck brothers, you know. Because you know, you have sometimes you have brothers, people. Even though they are twin, they you know, link like that. But these doctors have a connection where they love each other, people. Because they grow up from there was baby with that band together, people. And they never drop it. And two of them drop out. Hmm? They have big motorcade over Belize for them and them thing there. You know, the whole country in mourning for them people. The mayor turn up as a funeral, the MPs. I get what I ask people because even though you know they can't have this big funeral and thing people, but they do their best and follow the protocols. People wear the masks and they do, you know, they look at social distancing, you know, close family and thing where maybe they stay close. But I'm telling the people it's sad. And when I saw this thing, people, I couldn't just see it. So for me, I just want to send out my condolences to all the families and friends of these doctors. Kevin, you understand, and Kenneth, you get me as a people, are, you know, it's really sad. It's really sad. It's really sad. And we just don't know what tomorrow may bring. You get me, people? Two doctors gone, twins. Huh? Just imagine how this family is going through this right now. You know, how oh, oh, their wives, how oh, their, they, you know what I mean? Their mother, their father, everybody, brother, sister, you know. It's not an easy road. So people are making can tell you know, do the right, you know. Low the social gatherings. We get me and say, no, no, follow them people. You see it? No, follow those bar operators. No, follow them people where you keep the party and go kill yourself. See? Because they might think about making this money, which they not think about. So you look at you know? That we just follow because you see, honestly, if we did really and truly following the right rules and protocols, all of this high rising something would have go on. Never, I'm telling you, one hundred percent sure of that. If we did just following the right rules and protocols, listen what them say: wear the mask, social distance, practice at your home, practice at your road. 
things would have better. Not joke people, but once I feel to do that, that nyam was supper. And it now got to stop continue to eat with supper. So viewers and subscribers, you don't know the thing going on. You don't know the attacking boss there in a new link from new link production. Man, I just more love and more respect and just be good, be great, and be safe for their people. Cause yo, cha cha, peace out, attack. <laughs>